Approach Ireland from the northeast and you'll discover a magnificent gateway to the country. The enormous sea inlet Loch Foy. This bay is nearly 30 kilometers long and 10 kilometers at its widest point. To starboard, the Inishowen Peninsula and the hills of County Donegal. Nestling on the shore, the town of Greencastle, with its Martello Fort built to stop Napoleon from invading. On the port side is County Londonderry, also known as Derry, with the great sandy sweep of McGilligan Strand, 10 kilometers of beach cradling the bay with the promise of a warm welcome. More sailors arrive each year from Scotland. It's 55 kilometers from Port Ellen on the island of Isla. And there are moorings at several locations near the entrance to the lock and within the shelter of the lock. A few hours sail takes you to the city of Londonderry or Derry with its city centre Pontoon Marina. A short walk takes us to the city's historic walls and these reminders of ancient battles. There's a wide range of lively shops to visit. There are plenty of restaurants offering delicious local produce. In the pubs, you'll find evidence of Derry's famous tradition of music making. In recent years, there's been an increase in the number of visitors arriving on gigantic cruise liners. Indeed, it was Derry that led the way in attracting international liners to Northern Ireland. Derry is famous as Ireland's only completely walled city. It's a place crammed with fascinating stories, a place with a turbulent past and a vibrant, joyful present. The city stands astride the River Foyle, and today we'll trace the course of the river. Our journey begins far beyond the city in some of the world's most delightful countryside. We've travelled more than 60 kilometres south into the Sperrin Mountains. This is one of the largest and least explored upland expanses in Northern Ireland. Hidden here in the hills is the birthplace of the River Foyle. We're in Slocken Glen, near the village of Drumquin in County Tyrone. This stream will soon become the Fairy Water River, gathering power as it starts to thunder through the hills towards the sea. This is one of a vast network of streams and rivers coursing through the glacial valleys of the Sperrins. There's the Owen Kalu, the Clock Finn, the Camoan, and now the Strul, meandering through the main county town of Oma. The river's story continues north, with the Strul becoming the Morn, said to be one of the best salmon fishing rivers in Europe. Finally, near the town of Straban, the river Finn sweeps in to join the Morn to form the Foyle a tidal river along its entire length. This river course attracted the earliest settlers 9,000 years ago. The countryside is dotted with amazing archaeological sites.
Up in the hills near Carrick Moor is the Craig and Dovesky Court Tomb, a Neolithic burial site from 6,000 years ago. This is a paradise for walkers and cyclists. There are 46 waymarked trails, including substantial treks and short strolls. The Mourne Riverside Walk here at Sion Mills provides a chance to admire this magnificent suspension footbridge. There are 12 well-mapped cycle routes. Plenty of opportunity to enjoy the countryside, listening to little more than the sound of the breeze. Back on the rivers, there's the excitement of whitewater canoeing, or perhaps more leisurely paddling along the quiet stretches. Alongside the River Strule, you can step into the past at the Ulster American Folk Park. This is an outdoor museum with a huge collection of original buildings telling the story of emigration from Ireland to America in the 18th and 19th centuries. You'll see traditional crafts like blacksmithing and spinning. You can also visit a replica of an emigrant's ship. Grim conditions below. But coming back on deck, the same surge of the sea, unchanged through the centuries. With McGilligan slipping behind, we can share the emigrant's dream to return again and again. <laughs>